him out, and there it is. Down into a one-on-one. -on -one. Good trades, but it's simple, and he's already here. Right outside, smoke gonna go off. Simple on the other side, he pulls out the pistol. He's got the P250, close range. It's a one-shot nitro. He's got a triple, he fakes it once and just goes to check the window. This is all about timing. Nitro does have a model of another smoke, so it could be really rough for Simple to actually get through this. He's gonna throw the AWP in, oh my God! Simple, what is happening? What he even is that? It's funny though, there is though, for Gambit, so they couldn't try right. and take down any weapon. All of them are beneficial at this point in time. The Immortals now feeling like they know what to do to challenge this banana position. The Gambit has sent even more firepower there. To bring more HP This is so smart. Party. Oh, this is huge. Doji's throwing a nade into the corner just as the bomb's gonna go off. They're both gonna go down. Get brained on. Go. Forsaken and Antidote are gonna have to try and retake the site. Luckily, there is a hole in the smoke, so Forsaken's gonna get some nice positioning on the site simply crumbles. It almost felt unnecessary, right? Like, they they had strong sight holds. They had uh, they had automatic as the float. They had two people in that A-bomb site. They had two people in the B-bomb site. You would have had three at any site once the attack had come in. I right. think it's just the underlying issue of Cloud9 seeming very uncomfortable on the CT side. Yeah. And they have to go for a play somewhere, right? Oh, look at this skadoodle. Doing his best simple impression with the drop and kill and actually Drops the smoke, lures one out, he gets another. That's four kills for Skadoodle. He's tapped the bomb, is Henny gonna push forward? He has plenty of time for this Skadoodle, oh. no, he misses the shot. Now he's gonna get on the bomb, I think he's just gonna stick it. Henny, he's got a Glock, he's got and it. he can't fight it, the he's knife coming it. in, and he's got it! Skadoodle. Skadoodle is a hero! What are you doing? This is an FBL! Oh, he just runs in there, and that's gonna be traded quick by Fallen. That might have been a bit drastic, Capri goes down, and now things are looking much better for SK Gaming in the B-bomb side. Device on almost no health at all, and he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. He actually gets a kill on one, and Sip is there to try and follow it up. Fur goes down again, 30 seconds left now. It's a two on two, and Device doing so much work. Another headshot coming in, and Taco goes down. Device on just seven health gets a quad kill. But of course, I'm standing here with uh, Big Dick Stacy. Talk to me about the team's expectations as we go into this tournament. Um, so the team's uh, expectations going into this tournament, um, we're pretty thick and pumped right now. Um, we're going in, just heads up, going straight in there. Nice and hard, and I'll uh, see what we got. Versus four, this is NIP's chance to finally do something in this second half. He sits with a kill as well, and Forrest with a headshot, leaving Shroud in a one on three. Whoa, how did that get so sloppy? Manages to actually do a little bit of damage to Draken, so he has the info here. Waiting to see if the peak is going to come through, but there is absolutely no reason, especially if Draken has got that angle. But he's looking towards A main. He's not holding the E box line, and that could cost him. Shroud nearly finds the kill on Forrest as well. Trying to bait a response, but he's running so low on time. There's the first shot, there's the second! Does he have time to make it? He does more than enough. He has the kit, and there's the triple kill clutch. Henry, it was on the other stream just a moment ago, and apparently it was brilliant. So I'm told. As Zipix tries to work back inside of the lobby, 25 HP only to work with. As the bomb will reach its logical it conclusion. Is, is he gonna go for this? Are they still down there? Oh, no, my no. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Zipix! Clutch Minister's oh, got a new sermon! It. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable from Zipix! He is the clutch master! Who's going for it? Okay. Surely. Oh, they're planting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have to come up in 18 seconds. Oh no. They're still in trouble. The bomb is down. Oh, he tries to hit that one. It's not that far off either. 11 seconds now. And Simple is still feeling it. He's still got his finger on the trigger. It's going to be Vector going down. Simple spinning around with one more kill on Rez. Tries to go for the wall bang. He's so crazy. But he's finally trapped in here. Doesn't hit that shot either. On the other side, he takes down Brolin. Simple. No way. No, there should be no way. This is an impossible round to win. And it was from the start. He scoped up, not realizing. Hampers is walking up close. Simple! Oh no! He aces his way back into the round! I can't believe it. That should have been impossible. In the back of the head. Right. And what did he do after that? That's nuts. So, so he actually shoots the AWP in the back of the head without anyone looking. Gets the AWP and kills the guy CT. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, he's knifed him. And he's gotten away with the AWP. I'm starting to get nervous. There's no way, there's no way, Caden, you can't win Pro League like this! You can't win Pro League like this! No way! Axar's left, 40 seconds and the bomb's on A. Take your time, son, you're about to make the play of your career. Oh my god, 30 seconds now, Axar's on ramp, he's got 30 seconds to think this one through. A knife kill? 
gone. Cadian, he's thinking about round. Jumps Tore him. Sal gets the info. He just has to hit this shot, and he's done it for heroic. The leader, calling well above his years, clearing. Corners oh no! Back. You're an animal. Heroic of done. The pistol it. coming through. North to defend, Ooh. and he nails the first shot. Oh. Second, maybe the third, get right. Trying to find some form here. Rez will be with Nork here. It looks like the bomb's down, and can he get right even get close to him? He's gonna give it a good shot. Nork's found another one. Anybody no, else? No, 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 no. He's no, going no. for the oh, He's got five, six <laughs> kills! He's got the six K! Unbelievable from Nork! Six <laughs> kills in the round! How does he do it? It's mathematically impossible! Yeah, impact player, but you got the it's six kills, not five. Yeah. Why did he shoot Rez? Just for fun. Just a bit of a laugh. I think Ali may just go for the stick on this. Fallen's going to try and walk back in. As they both get close enough rain, considering Upper has Alu go look low. Hits the diffuser. Fallen gets back. Oh! That is incredible. That might be the game in itself. An absolutely brilliant play from Fallen. The map this has been 35 seconds left on the clock now for Mouse Sports. Once again, the A bomb site, the option of choice. There's not really any time for them to rotate across. And Nifty and Ustilo have done so much work here. The Molotov might just take Sticko out at will, but not before he gets a frag. Nifty again on the site. Let's see some more magic, my friend, with that orb. Chris J goes down. Oh, and Nifty! And Nifty is coming up absolutely what? insane! Right now for the Renegades. Standing here with Vincent from Hungary. Uh, Vincent, one of the most vocal SK fans in this entire arena all day long. How does it feel knowing your team is going to the finals? Thank you for asking me. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulation for the enemy team, Face Clan. They were really hard. Uh, it was a good feeling for us, and I would like to thank. I would like to thank all of the people who supported with us. It was very wonderful. Let's go on the right. Smokes about top mid and all the way over toward Atrium. Taps and goes quick. Cold Zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the ball will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold Zero with an ace. A beautiful one as well. And he's elated for good reason. I that didn't see the kill pop up in the feed. But he will have another crack at a shot. And this time he does deliver. Oh, nifty. That is disgusting. And look where the bombs drop now as well. Unreal plays, purely off sound, instinct. And he will strike. Azza from behind claims a kill onto Captain Mo. And now somebody has to clutch a one on two. He's got time. And Azza's been tagged down to 43. Somebody will be able to claim the bomb, but what can he do with it? He knows that Nifty's up in heaven and therefore his rotation to A could be cut off. But if he can scamper past, then the A site may very well be ripe for the taking. There's a small crack that he can see and somebody's landed the scout shot. Now this round is back. Oh, oh Nifty! Oh, oh, what the oh, hell was that? Surprisingly enough, Optic haven't reacted to it. I just pre-fired the angle because it's pretty much been every round that he's tried this. Sixer does see the jump go across. He isn't aware of it as Alu misses the first shot, but Scream's not going to push further forward just yet. Smoke goes down. Sixer takes a pot shot, but he won't be able to find anyone and Scream gets caught off guard. Alu challenging him. Alu gaining control for Optic here in A main. And that's a big hit now because Scream's lost control. Sixer Ooh. finds the kill. Alu with a third. Alu's doing all the work here for Optic, helping them get into their site. And they're looking to take the last round of the first half here. RPK in a good spot to do some damage, but how much can he really do from here? No one spotted him out yet. And finally, Alu picks up the fourth. Can he get the fifth? Only happy remains of oh. Alu. <laughs> He just keeps doing Kevlar's it. Kevlar's all around except for Moddy, so. Ooh, ouch. Oh my god, that hurts as well. <laughs> Two orb shots through the wall. Great oh, oh, and then the third one through the wall. Flickerino. In, in the head. That is, Moddy, he was just supposed to die this round. Get up. I, 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 this is everybody's favorite villain. Has Pit on lock. We will see a plant, surely. And they will extend play. Pit still a problem, but the bomb is down. 2v4 demanded of heroic Na'Vi. The cavalry canters in already, though. We see it boil down to just Tessus. Trying to activate. Oh, oh my god! Tessus in Antwerp, no less. Some 
people lose. It needs that flash to come in, but where is Summer? Here goes the first one. They already passed the angle though. Oh, nice pop from Benta. He'll eat the second one, but still get a kill. Still alive by the sandbags. He's got no help. He's at the point. No turn! Benta, what the hell is this? Is he going to get the ace? He's so close. How is he still alive? Rob pulling out, but it's Benta. What are you doing? What in the blazes is that? That was absolutely incredible. I can't even believe the second kill. Flipping from bathrooms and Apex comes out to finish the job. Can't do it as easily as he'd hoped. Twist even gets one at range. Down to just two. How does Twist find the second? Zywu. He peeked out. AK available. He's going to grab it on the run. And he's got the bomb. He's got armor. This is a straight one on two, but Alex is close. Twist. He bangs him out somehow. A third. And he's looking for it all the way. RPK is going to try and swing around the backside. Twist switches back to the Deagle instead. Checks both close positions. And he will use the truck. Twist was part of the reason the finals didn't go their way last year. He didn't show up on the big stage. He's turned this. He has the gun. He's using the Deagle. He's got confidence in his name, and he sees it as a PK is fast. And Twist shows us all that maple syrup is just another form of liquid. This guy is just unbelievable. I am lost for words. That shouldn't be possible.